What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a brand new product review. This is 2021 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Football. So usually at the beginning of the collecting year, we get several college products. This is one of them. And I think that we've had it since I think 2014, 15, somewhere around there. And I ripped it a lot of it uh, since it first came out. So you know, it's usually a more affordable set. So it's one that I've ripped, you know, throughout the years. And I've actually pulled some pretty cool cards. Uh, that Corey Davis, Crack Dice. I remember just being, I mean, that was mind blowing that pull at the time, especially uh, you know, since it's Crack Dice and Crack Dice is kind of the the set or the parallel that gives the contenders brand its name. And um, Michael Thomas there from Prism Draft Picks, which should be coming out soon too. So a lot of good stuff from those that I pulled in the past. Hopefully we get some good cards from these ones. So we're going to review this one and see what's good, see what's bad. And then you guys can give me your thoughts. I'll give my thoughts at the end, of course. And uh, first we we'll go to some information on the product. Now, uh, before we get started into that, uh, real quick, if you guys want to win this Topps Trevor Warren's box, all you got to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on, and then uh, go to the Top Trevor Warrants video, which I'll link down below in the description and the pinned comment, and go to that video and just comment anything, and you are entered. So I picked this, uh, the winner for this one on the first, and stay tuned for tons of giveaways. I always like doing some giveaways for you guys and get you guys some cards and stuff like that. So uh, good luck with this one. And uh, the video is really awesome. So, you know, did nothing comment, just comment your, your favorite, uh, I guess set from this product really awesome stuff and we pulled an absolute monster card so definitely check that one out if you haven't we also did legacy football uh two days ago so definitely check that one out too if you're interested but here's contenders draft picks got mac jones got trevor lawrence and let's see what we got so srp is 150 dollars for this one the resale is about 290 give or take maybe 10 you know 15 dollars uh, and that's the current ebay price so this is at the time of posting of course if you're watching this maybe later on the price i would assume and hope has gone down usually at least the basketball stuff does go down retail too so i would hope that this one also goes down in price a little bit after but you're 18 cards per pack the six packs per box and 108 total cards every pack has an autograph and a parallel and i believe six inserts so 108 once again total and 12 box cases so there's also a first off the line and retail formats so something else to look for first off the line i believe has a premium exclusive pre premium auto or something like that but uh, once again, six autos, 36 inserts, six parallels. The inserts are okay. Usually there's so many inserts and usually not too popular. So, um, I mean, it's better than not getting anything, but the inserts from my experience aren't really anything too desirable. There is a case hit uh, campus ID, it's called. So it's a horizontal kind of like a little ID card. Those are one per case. And what you're mainly looking for in this product are the college tickets and their parallels. So the, um, you know, the campus tickets, the crack dice, of course, the printing plates, one of ones and stub tickets also the gold premium so those are the kind of the main draws and contenders always about those autographs especially the on-card ones for the main signers so the sum on card not all of them i think travis Etienne i saw was on card i saw trevor lawrence was a sticker trey lance was on card saw a couple other guys stickers you know so um in the past all the main signers are usually on card i don't know if that'll be the case this time it's kind of a you know bridge between the last couple years where things were a little weird and then getting back to normal so not too sure who will be stickers and who won't be but um hopefully a lot of guys are on card there are also insert stick uh insert autographs which are stickers and those are usually a little less popular but still nice to get the top players and uh, once again those premium gold the stubs there's three variations for these guys so there's the a b and the c so three different pictures for these rookies and they have all the parallels for each a b and c so a lot of stuff to look for let's uh, get into this box here and see what we got a lot of information for these products hopefully if you're interested in getting the box for yourself that information is helpful and i'll have some of this in the description too so if you know, maybe i went through too fast or you forgot forgot it by the end i should put a lot of it in the description but this campus id case hits stub new stub ticket autographs those were new like two years ago here's the back with everything that you can find and there you go let's see what we got and then uh, IG there is Pac-Man cards. I try to post some, you know, early looks at products when when I have them. Also, you know, just showing some cool stuff, posting a new group breaks are live, everything like that. Pac-Man cards. Should have some new breaks um, on the site now, if not soon. But um, yeah. So PacmanScoreStars.com. Here's the packs. And one other thing I think I wanted to go into. There's also vet autographs. And Trevor Lawrence once again is a sticker, but there's vet. Vet autographs, and I believe those are all stickers. Now, those vet autographs will be, once again, all college, everything college in this product. And there's some good names. There's you know, Jordan Love, and once again, these guys, most of these guys are, were very good in college. But then again, 
you're looking at mostly from an NFL perspective when we open these. But, you know, there's a you know, Tua, Herbert, Love, some guys from the recent years. Here's the design. There's also some super-duper legends like uh, Rosen, Stidham, Minshew, guys like that. So a wide variety of guys to find. But here's the base, Jordan Love there. Michael Thomas. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> well, I uh, guess they only got like one picture in there, Michael Thomas little gallery, and, and we happen to see him twice. That's his, That was from his rookie year, and this is from this year, so... I mean, it was a while back then he, when he was a rookie, but funny we have the same picture. Josh Allen. So here's those inserts. Uh, Javon Holland. Like with Legacy, bear with me on some of these names. I'll learn them as you know, I watch some games. I you know, get more exposure to them, rip some more packs, stuff like that. So Trey Sermon. <laughs> it's Trey Sermon. If you guys saw the last the Legacy video, it's Trey Sermon. Sorry, Trey. In my defense, I don't know why Panini is choosing some of these fonts, messing up stuff big time, man. <laughs> but Trey Sermon, uh, Caleb Farley, got Campus Legends Josh Allen, and Trevor Lawrence. There we go, 403 passing yards. It's a cool picture. I like that. And we should have an autograph. No, maybe not. Um. All right, you get one auto per per pack once again. So I don't know where it. Is. I guess it's the next. Yeah, it's got to be the next card. Uh, we got Hill here, Keelan Hill, Kylan Hill, and Quincy Roche. Oh, all right, all right. You got a nice auto college ticket. There we go. So this is this year's design. It looks usually. I feel like in the past the design kind of followed a certain like style. It always looked kind of very similar. This year does not look like past years. Definitely a more unique feel and design to the. Set and if you've seen the past years, let me know if you like that or if you don't like that. But you know, usually like I feel like in the past they've all had you know, that little barcode on the front, something like that. But yeah, this year just looks a little bit different. Here's an apparel here, Juju, not numbered or anything like that, but cool. And actually, you know what? Since we're not gonna get, I don't know what we'll get. We'll put that there. And here's some more base. All right, so now that we've seen a lot of the cards, we're gonna go a little faster through the next packs and hopefully we can find that super auto but yeah this is always one that i always thought was pretty cool i remember at 17 2017 i ripped tons of this stuff i mean monstrous amounts i was chasing at the sean watson one and never got it but there's one picture i really liked i don't know if it was a b or c but it was one of those ones that I, I wanted so bad never got it unfortunately i ripped tons of blasters trying to pull trying to pull a first round rookie i don't think i I don't think I did, but oh well. Micah Parsons, Jamar Chase, school colors, playing the numbers game. There we go. And there we got Tua, Campus Legends. So despite being some of the top guys, these inserts, they're not going to be too coveted, unfortunately. Playing the numbers game, 300, uh, 435 passing yards, Mac Jones. You just get so many of them, and you know the Blasters are going to come out soon, and they're going to have you know tons of inserts too. So the main thing you're looking for, kind of like regular contenders, is the the autograph. So Najee Harris there. And Quinton Bohana. Bohana. Alright. Let's see. Is it a parallel? It is not. Alright. I prepared a sleeve for you too though. There we go. Nice. Alright, let's pick up the last ones. We have Hopkins, which he was our autograph. So there's a there's six parallels. Maybe one will be numbered. I wouldn't expect a ton of them to be numbered. But uh, yeah, I, I would say about one maybe. And then you'll get a bunch of those, you know, non-numbered kind of just foil parallels. Like the inserts, the parallels aren't going to be too too coveted unless it's maybe a cracked dice or a one of one or a really super short printed one right there. So the main chasers, and you know, if you're looking to buy singles or something like that, you're definitely looking for those those autos, those on card autos, especially the parallels. Cracked Ice being uh, one of the more favorite ones. Kind of Gainwell. Got Deshaun Watson. Speaking of him. Got Zach Wilson. 392 passing yards. The man. Does he uh, sink or does he swim? Oh, we have a redemption. Who could be a redemption? Hmm. Got my curiosity. And attention on that one. Alright. Do we have... 
Oh, I have I have something for you guys. I got we got Quiddy Pay. We got we got a lucky a lucky reveal coming up. Hill Pits. It's pretty cool. All right, we have Redemption. Now this could just be literally anybody. So we'll put this here for a second, and I'll just finish off this pack. Got Tredavious White and some more base. So I do, I have fillers next to me, but I'm not going to use a filler. I'm going to use this Steph Curry base card, because uh, if you've seen our video from maybe a week or two ago, we opened a box of Contenders Basketball, and it was one of the best redemptions I've ever revealed, just ever. And it was this Curry that revealed it, so hopefully this Curry can can be lucky again. If it pulls another good one, this thing's goaded. Here, here we go. Football. RPS college ticket. So this, this is it. This is uh, the RPS set, and that's kind of like the rookie photo shoot. I mean, there was no photo shoot, but... This is the uh, the main guys you're looking for here. Uh, some of these guys will be on card. 115. It is Jamar Chase. Thank you, Mr. Curry. All right. What a guy. Jamar Chase. That's a nice one. He's with this guy, uh, Burrow, there. Hmm. Sweet. Very sweet. So I don't know if he's an on-card signer or not. I hope it is. But, um... I won't, I won't know for a little while since he's a redemption, but very nice. I will take that. Thank you. And that's kind of the, like, once again, regular contenders. That's the, the main auto you usually get, I feel like. You usually get that, like, you know, one on-card rookie photo shoot guy. That would be our, if I assume correctly, the guy, you know, the auto from this box. But it is possible to get more. I believe I've seen it, not, not, not just a few, couple times, but many times. There could be something better, so who knows? It's going to be tough to beat that one, though, unless you get like a top QB. DK. Got Kellen Mond. Shot Bateman. And got us flipping like crazy. Collins. Wrist surgery incoming. Kadarius Tony for my Giants. Got Russell Wilson. Okay. I'm ready. Monster number two. Boom. Trey. Okay. Trey McKitty. I was wondering why he had an apostrophe after his first name. I assume it's, some, assuming it's an abbreviation of some sort. And there's his auto. And we have a Nick Chubb. Followed by some base. Tom Brady. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady. Never heard of him. All right, last two packs. Let's see what we can get. Can we get a monster? So the knock with these college products though is that, once again, they're not in the NFL jerseys. So the problem is once the NFL starts com stuff starts coming out, and I believe that starts with Don Russell Elite, that kind of hurts the college stuff because you know people you know collecting uh, for the NFL team want them in their NFL jerseys. You know, I'm the same way. I think it's always fun to, to open these boxes. Uh, unfortunately, the once again, the uh, NFL stuff will hurt it. So people always ask, you know, is it going to depreciate in value quickly? I don't know how quickly it'll be, but it definitely will will go down as that more, more and more NFL stuff comes out. Chuba Hubbard. All right, here we go. Green. Oh, Trey Lance. No way. Oh, oh. Ooh, I'll take that. I love my own lineman. Okay, cracked ice. Cracked ice. Ah, just a base. I saw, actually, you know what? So I was actually looking at the uh, little, little gallery of these cards earlier today, and I was think, I was seriously thinking to myself, how nice would it be to pull his auto? And we pulled his auto. And I stool there. All right. I'm going to give him a top loader because, I don't know, I, I just, I like him. He's uh, with the Lions. Wouldn't mind if he was a giant, but I like him, rooting for him, and lo love those stud alignment, man. So, when we get a, a good alignment, means a lot. And there's our numbered card, Derrick Henry to 99. I don't know if you're guaranteed a numbered card, but we did get one there. Sewell. Hmm. It's a nice, nice little pull right there. And Justin Herbert there. This is a little year two college. All right. Final one. But yeah, drop your thoughts below what you think of this stuff here. If you could pull 
something. Hmm. No, I think it's just probably just our autos maybe stuck together or something. But if you could pull one card from this product, what would it be? Would it be the Josh Rosen autograph? I know a lot of guys are going to try to pull that one. Would it be this sick insert right here? Would it be? Oh, another Trevor Lawrence one. Nice. Uh, 404 passing yards. And Trayvon. Let's see. Trayvon Morig Woodard. Um, yeah. Lamar Jackson and Hawkins. All right. Let's see what we have here. Javante Williams. Oh, 288. I think it's just radio auto. Richie Grant. It felt really weird. It felt like it was um there's a card sticking out like a little farther than it should be. Huh. Okay. And it's a base. So no parallel autographs at all. Which is I mean it's not impossible. I remember in years past, you always usually always got a parallel autograph. Obviously it's much more made now. So they can't keep giving, you know, a numbered autograph in everyone, but Cole Beasley and what I'm sure there's a good chance I just... Uh, I remember once I, I was complaining I didn't get one, and I think I did get one, and I was doing the recap, and I was like, oh boy. Whoops. But still, very nice stuff. Let's recap, and then I'll give my final thoughts, rating, and uh, you know, kind of end the review on this product here. But you guys like these uh, videos, drop a like, and uh, share, comment, subscribe. Helps us out. And we have plenty more content like this coming, so there's another Zach Wilson, actually. And so you get tons of inserts, once again, 36 of them. And uh, they're not, you know, too popular. They're not going to have too much value. It'd be nice to get maybe like a Lawrence or a top QB, but that's not going to be like a, a monster pull because, you know, they're very common cards. All right, let's see what we have here. We have some Zach Wilson action. Got a Cole Beasley, Measley Beasley. Richie Grant. Got T-Law. Henry. Well, uh, we'll actually put this guy here and then Sewell yes sir got another auto McKitty got Chubb and here's a nice one Jamar Chase I'll take that all day got Jamar got some more parallels uh, Kyle Pitts Zach Wilson got Hopkins got a uh, Bohana Benny Hanna and you know some more inserts and uh Roche there so I mean overall not one incredible card, but pretty solid to get a Sewell here. And I know he's going to have a you know, nice little following there. And they got Jamar Chase, which is a nice one. I don't know if he's on card. In the past, it, it would be an on card. But once again, it's different times. I'm not too sure how it's going to work out. But uh, pretty cool overall. And definitely some solid pulls. Can't complain. So if you get a box for yourself, wish you the best of luck. Overall, um, I, I don't mean this in a bad way, of course. I mean, it works with what it has. Uh, I'm going to rate this a, I'm going to rate it a 5.75. It's not a terrible product. The problem is it is draft and the draft stuff just doesn't, um, you know, appreciate like other stuff will. It will depreciate as more products come out and um, you're really just looking for that, that auto or maybe two, but usually it's kind of just that one autograph and um, yeah, you know, the floor is okay. The ceiling, like the floor is just, you know, okay. Uh, there aren't too many monster chase cards other than that one auto you're going to get, so you know, it's cool having these inserts, but they're not really going to net you too much. So, um, yeah, all the draft stuff, I mean, the draft stuff works with what it has. You know, it can't really be a, a 9 out of 10 because the reality is, you know, soon it's going to be a little less uh, desirable. But overall, it is fun to rip it if you're looking for a, you know, a nice, well, hopefully drop, if it hopefully drops in price, it might be a cheaper rip once other stuff comes out. And this might be something you're interested in if you're you know, going to get those guys, you're a fan of the colleges or the schools they went to, or you just want to collect these guys early on, then could be a good one. Um... But overall, the draft stuff, once again, we'll, we'll have several products. They do, uh, unfortunately, lose some of their, their lust you know, later on. But overall, it is fun stuff. Once again, 575. I don't mean that like a, a nice 575. The, it's the best 575 I can give. But that is the, the rating I would have to give it. So uh, overall, fun stuff. And uh, once again, good luck on your boxes. If you rip one for yourself, if you haven't already, enter the giveaway. IG there, Pac-Man Card Shop, a follow. And uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.